design a hemoglobin that would work outside of a red blood cell and be a transfusing agent to carry oxygen. That's really what's needed on the in the emergency rooms and in the emergency vehicles. Right now, if you're bleeding and you've lost a lot of blood, you've got to get fluid in there, and they put colloids in there just so the heart, the pump will keep be primed and keep working. But it doesn't carry oxygen. What we are studying and what our contributions can be uh, taken by someone, or maybe our lab or someone down the line, and make a recombinant hemoglobins that can be used as blood substitutes. We've been trying to express hemoglobin in bacteria as a potential source for an oxygen carrier that could be used in transfusion medicine. In a sense, we were trying to make hemoglobin to substitute for whole blood, but we needed to make a lot of it in bacteria. And we had noticed in the late 1990s that it was very easy to make sperm whale myoglobin in E. coli, but it was very hard to make human or pig myoglobin in bacteria. Myoglobin is the model system that we use to see if the methodology works, see if the ideas and mechanisms are right, and now we can apply it uh, to hemoglobin. Whales have very stable myoglobins. When it goes, uh, starts to dive deeper in the sea, that it depends uh, more on the start oxygen by the myoglobins as its sole source. Because it doesn't have oxygen um, resources, it depends on this uh, specifically in their muscles. So it wants, uh, it needs those uh, myoglobins to be more stable. That's what Pramila is working on now, is to take our ideas with myoglobin and, and use them to go after these recombinant hemoglobins that have the potential to be blood substitutes.